The early childhood years are an important period for learning and development. Research shows that children's brains are changing in many ways in these early years. For children facing developmental challenges, the first five years of life can be especially important. Fortunately, there are publicly funded programs across the country that provide services to young children with developmental delays and diagnosed conditions and their families. These programs help children get off to a strong start so they will experience success when they get to kindergarten, later in school, and on into adulthood. We want all children to be active and successful participants in their homes, in their schools, on the playground, wherever they are and wherever they go. Everyday situations can sometimes be challenging for young children. Programs can help all children be successful, now and in the future, by supporting their development in three general areas called outcomes. We know if children make good progress in these outcomes, they will be ready to take the next step. The first outcome is children have positive social relationships. This refers to how children relate to those around them, their parents, caregivers, brothers and sisters, and other young children. This outcome means that we want children to have warm and nurturing relationships with others. To have positive social relationships, children need to use many different skills such as communicating, showing emotions appropriately, and controlling their own behavior. Having positive social relationships also requires young children to follow rules for how to interact, such as waiting for one's turn or sharing. What this outcome means depends on the child's age. As preschoolers, children interact with other children in many situations. They learn to get along with one another, follow informal rules on the playground, and formal rules in their classrooms. They use their expanding communication skills to express their feelings and to resolve conflicts. Being able to get along with others as a four-year-old has its foundation in interactions that children have when they are babies. For infants, positive social relationships means calming to the touch of a familiar adult, smiling and turning toward a parent's voice, taking turns in sound play and games such as peekaboo. Toddlers are beginning to show awareness of others' feelings. They may check in with a familiar adult when they are playing, and they show interest in the play of other children. They show an emerging awareness of what is expected of them when they are around others, and they are learning about give and take. Outcome one means that we want children to have positive social relationships. The second outcome is children acquire and use knowledge and skills. This outcome refers to the thinking, learning, reasoning, memory, and problem solving skills that expand so rapidly during the first five years. This outcome also addresses the general knowledge that children acquire about their world, such as concepts of more and less, colors and shapes, letters, stories, and books, and using this knowledge in everyday activities. Learning starts at birth, and what is learned during the first five years prepares children to be successful learners in kindergarten and beyond. Toddlers are little scientists. They drop objects just to watch them fall. They roll balls to see how far they will go. They explore water in the bathtub. They also are learning the words to describe what they are observing. By the time they are two years old, most children have an explosion in vocabulary and may use more than 100 words. Young children are interested in books and stories long before they can read. They remember yesterday's story and want to hear it again. Children learn about letters and numbers, shapes and colors, and they notice how things are alike and how they differ. Babies are learning all the time. They reach for objects and explore their own fingers and hands. They make sounds and experiment with babbling. When babies show delight in familiar faces or routines, they are showing us what they know and are learning. 
Outcome 2 is all about early learning and how children come to understand their world and acquire the skills they need to be successful in school and beyond. The third outcome is children take action to meet their needs. This outcome refers to children being able to take care of themselves and to use appropriate ways to get what they need and want. The key theme in outcome three is emerging independence. And during the early years, children continually progress toward being more independent. They master everyday activities like eating, dressing, and getting from one place to another. Infants depend on adults for their basic needs but have their own ways of getting these needs met. For instance, they are calm and quiet when they are content, but they cry to let us know when they need something. A hunger cry will soon be replaced by more juice, which will be replaced by may I have more juice please, or even by the child getting her own juice. Caregivers support children's move to independence by helping them learn appropriate ways to meet their needs. Toddlers are eager to do things independently. For example, they cruise and then they learn to walk on their own. They learn about dressing by pulling off their socks or diapers. Words or signs begin to replace pointing as a way to communicate wants and needs. Before they are three, children can typically eat with utensils and drink from a cup. They learn to wash their hands and brush their teeth. And as they get older, they will do these activities more independently. Young children are also learning to do other new things, such as using paintbrushes and scissors. In order to meet their own needs, it is important for children to be able to move around from place to place. There are many ways to move around, and some children use wheelchairs, walkers, or other assistive devices. Outcome 3 focuses on how children show increasing independence in meeting their own needs. We want all children to have positive relationships, be effective learners, and become individuals who can meet their own needs. By supporting mastery of these three outcomes, we are helping children participate successfully in their homes, communities, and schools.